What's my mother name? What's up guys, KDub175 back with another Pokemon Duel video and we have a gym cup actually inbound. Uh, first off, I wanted to take a look at this. It says, check out these decks we'd recommend in the current meta. So I kind of thought maybe they were just like, hey, we, we really need to help some of you guys out with all the new OP figures that we released. But it looks like it's kind of the same advertisement for the upcoming tournament, aka Blitz, unless they're going to make some changes to the, uh, I don't know, the mechanics of the event. Because it is, it's more of a Blitz. You, know, you got to register, you only have about an hour to play as many duels as possible. So, you know, they're kind of showing you a few decks, or like that's the standard deck, then they have kind of the, the flying type deck, which is definitely a good deck. You know, triple Swablu, double Altaria with Mega Altaria, and then you have the shiny Rayquaza to uh, combat the Rendezvous from the Celestula. Then they have a steel type deck, you know, kind of showcasing Mega Lucario. You got the Agron in there with uh, Mega Agron, a couple of Matang, Registeel, pretty, pretty strong deck. And then they're like the fire type decks, you know, uh, having been rejuvenated in June, the fire type deck is now super hot and it is. Now, this isn't the best fire deck build, in my opinion. I think the deck build that uh, Care Bear was talking about and the one that you know, I was running in Rico's stream, you guys should go check Rico's last stream out. Me and him battled. Uh, we were trying to find a, uh, a counter. The, the fire decks are OP, but we do have a steel gym kind of came out of nowhere steel's getting a plus one mp and uh fire's getting a plus 20. it's going to go to the 7th 759 utc and then i would imagine the gym is going to kick right in so play check out your decks test them and then your first three wins you're going to get a rare metal rare cube so it's going to be pretty nice so we're going to do a deck prep video and maybe that was a little bit of a sneak peek at the deck that i may be running but we have fire types we have steel types and um, there's not a whole lot of either, really. I mean, there's a there's a decent handful of Pokemon. Now, Heat Rotom, I think, is the only gym exclusive between, like, Fire types and Steel types. So we will cover the Heat Rotom. But I think we're going to cover the Steel types first. So Mega Lucario, an amazing Pokemon. One of the coolest looking Megas that we have. Uh, even just in Pokemon you know existence mega lucario is pretty awesome as long as uh, there's no status effects he's going to be able to protect your fighting and steel from getting knocked out from gold he doesn't get a buff he's three mp you know i don't know i don't know that you're going to need to use him unfortunately i just it's going to be tough to use him celestial is going to be a two mp with that rendezvous you know if you could keep mega lucario on the field and keep celestial from having uh, a status effect you know, you're going to be able to rocket ride. You're going to be able to uh, flame gun people. So that flamethrower is going to turn into a flame gun in its first battle. So if it goes to ultra space and comes back, you're going to have that flame gun again. You know, Mega Lucario has that gold. Again, can't be knocked out by uh, gold attacks. Neither can Lucario. It's also going to be a 3 MP, so it does get a buff. And, like, I think Lucario is going to be fine on his own. Mega Agron is going to be insane. Let's take a look at Agron first, though. It's going to be 3 MP off of the bench. You know, obviously, you guys know if you approach Agron, you're going to have to attack it. You're not going to be able to bypass it. It has the Heavy Slam, so it's going to be able to knock 3 MP Pokemon out. It's going to have a 140. You could use, like, a Metal Sphere or something. But the, the key is here, you can go Mega Agron. So you're 3 MP off the bench. Then you can go Mega Agron. You're going to be another 3 MP that can go through Pokemon. Also, you're going to be getting a plus 20 to all your Steel types. Mega Aggron is going to be amazing. And then obviously, you know, like fairy types like Coco, Magirna, uh, Bulu, like uh, Primarina maybe. You got to keep it away from Mega Aggron. So I really want to get Mega Aggron in my deck. Mega Scizor. You know, it's not going to be too bad with the Wing Sphere, but Scizor, okay, is going to be a base 3 MP. You can easily evolve it with the Metal Coat from Scyther. Uh, you know, apply some crack markers. It has some gold. It's going to be able to knock out quite a few Pokemon. And with the Wing Sphere... 3 MP, able to soar over, um, I believe, non-flying type Pokemon. So, I like Scissor. I don't know that you're going to need the Mega, because Scissor's pretty nice. It's going to have a base, um, you know, 130 when it, it evolves. And then, um, you know, I don't know. I, li I like it. Reggie's still 3 MP. It's just going to be a monster. There's no explosion to worry about. Uh, Magirna. 
you can remove curse and crack markers. So, you know, if anybody's running Altaria or Mimikyu, but you're gonna wanna keep that away from Mega Aggron. Solgaleo is gonna be a three MP. It's not gonna be the best figure, but if you don't have a lot of strength in your deck, Solgaleo is gonna be kind of a nice cancellation to kind of suicide and get rid of one of their strongest Pokemon. Heatran is the only Pokemon that's gonna get a double buff fire in steel, base 130 and 90 crunch, and then it's gonna be three MP. You can protect your entry points, you can rush with it, you're gonna be able to magma slide everything. Excadrill is gonna be a three MP. It can choose whether to dive in like Empoleon, but you can also make a normal MP move off the bench and attack has the dig at a three MP. Like, dude, multiple Empoleon and Excadrill could be super annoying. Uh, you know, three Empoleon, three Excadrill. I really don't want to go up against it. I was like talking with Care Bear. It's really, really, really bad deck build. It's just, I mean, you can't lock it down. You're going to have to like try to steamroll, but you're going to be able to just rush without punish. You can keep getting Pokemon off the bench. Just defend your goal. You can potentially freeze if they're not running Flame Sphere. Uh, maybe run Kiram with it to try to keep them from... Uh, you know, unfreezing their Pokemon. Steelix is going to be a 2 MP. Now, the, the Gyro Ball is going to suffer against 2 MP Pokemon, but for the 3 MP running around, it's still going to get that additional buff. You can Metal Coat. You can use Metal Sphere. So, you know, Steelix is going to be pretty amazing. Pull-in is a great move, and it's not going to uh, be as much of a drawback now that it's a 2 MP. Bronzor. I think is going to be an MVP as he generally can be in gym with that heavy slam, knocking out other three MP Pokemon, but he's going to counter himself basically. You know, it has the confusion, but the thing is, is the uh, refraction ability. It's going to protect your uh, adjacent Pokemon from getting any new status effects. So it's going to be really nice against the fire decks. Um, Arn, definitely for steel types, that big bite. I got mine the level nine with Carmenite. Laren's going to be tough to evolve, but you could set the evolution for a full evolution on Agron. Skarmory. Uh, I really do like this Pokemon as well. It has the flyaway, so you, you can potentially get 5 MP off the bench. It's going to be 3 MP with the gym buff. Rush out, fly away. I mean, you could be threatening game at one turn. So I like Skarmory. It's just going to you know, have to watch out for gold attacks. Magnazone. We finally have 3 Magnazone. This thing is going to be a 2 MP off the bench. So you could run... The, the Magnazone on its own, then have two Magneton to set the evolutions. This thing's going to be able to Shockwave, paralyze a bunch of Pokemon. It buffs itself. It buffs Magneton and other Magnazone. So ran with the Coco. This thing could potentially out-damage the uh, Fire Dex, guys. And you can burn, paralyze, or freeze with the Magneton. Though burn or freeze isn't going to do much against fire decks, but uh, I really like the Magnazone, guys. And you could run it with the Cobalion, the Protect one. Um, what else do we have here? Um, Metagross, you know, Matang. Those are going to be really good Pokemon. Uh, let's take a look at just Cobalion. Cobalion. Okay, so you're going to be able to protect your adjacent Pokemon, including Cobalion himself, from gold attacks. The only problem is, is if he gets burned, Arcanine kind of destroys him. So you just, you know, if you're leveling up the dodge, then you're going to have a, you know, a random effect of when it gets burned, unless you use Carmenite, whether you lose the dodge or the gold. So something you may want to look into, Genesect, not going to get an MP buff, but using the shock drive plates or the just the different drive plates because the lore behind genesect is he has a drive in his techno blaster so if you put the douse drive ex it's like a double chance that you're going to be able to use and if you knock out a fire ground or rock type they're going to get excluded from the duel the only problem is with the fire types if they're running ho they're going to be able to get their uh, banished Pokemon back if, you know, they're a fire type. Uh, you know, burn drive, grass, bug, and steel. So for bug and steel types, you know, scissor, other steel types. Golden module. I didn't really like this plate that much, but now that we have Hound Hour, this thing's going to be really nice because it's going to exclude dark or fairy types. It turns your purple Technoblast into a gold attack for one turn. So if you get the knockout while using that plate, you're going to be able to exclude the Hound Hour because they're, they're pretty easily knocked out. So for some fire types, Hound Doom, this thing's definitely going to be an MVP. It's pretty much the best Pokemon in deck 
to run in Pokemon Duel right now. It counters more Pokemon in decks than any other deck in my opinion, and it's got a ton of strength and utility. Mega Houndoom is amazing. We have one, though I don't think that we're really going to need more power. You know, I don't think you really need it. I think having that plate space is going to be a lot more important. Arcanine is going to be an MVP with putting status effects with whether you're paralyzing or burning. You're going to be able to shift their attacks. It's a gold attack. Uh, could be weak to a Cobalion deck, Koba Sandwich. So, you know, these Hound Doom are going to be able to do just as much damage. Hound Hour, they can get up there pretty good. Easy to evolve with the Roar. Now, you want to be running the Flame Sphere Plate with these Pokemon. So Hound Hour is not going to get burned. Uh, any Pokemon that battle it, it, they get burned. You run it with the Arcanine, run it with the Houndoom, you get buffs. They're already going to be getting a plus 20 from the gym. I mean, Blaziken, Blaziken's going to have a base 150. It's going to be a 160 with a chain level 10. And then if you're running Houndoom, uh, I don't know, like Kimbuskin? Like Rico likes to run Kimbuskin by himself most of the time. So with a Flame Sphere, prevent it from getting burned, you know, with some Houndoom and, and some buffs, maybe a Charcoal Plate, like him, Buskin could just be unstoppable. Like, really. Even Magmortar. Magmortar has the potential to be doing a ton of damage. It's going to have an 80 base attack. It's going to be a 90 if you have a Chain Level 10, if you got duplicates or whatever. Uh, throw a Charcoal Plate on it. If you have a couple of Houndoom, you know, worst case, this thing gets knocked out. You're going to burn the opponent, unless they're running a Fire Deck with Flame Sphere. But uh, yeah, I, I think there's so many viable Pokemon for this gym, which is fun. It's amazing when there's a bunch of different decks. Moltres. You know, you guys know Moltres. It's going to get a plus 20. And you're going to be able to burn a bunch of stuff with the uh, purple. Incineroar is going to be nice. Any, uh, you know, Mega Gengar, Rotom, Rush decks, you're going to be able to come off the bench. If they have a status effect, you're going to be able to come off the bench. If people are running the Koba Sandwich. The Darkest Lariat, you know, you could throw an X Speed on there. Um, you know, level up the Darkest Lariat. If you can get the knockout, it's going to knock out the battle opponent. And you're also going to send the adjacent Pokemon to the PC. Resh. Yeah, it's going to have a plus 20 in the gym, so a 120. And it's going to have a 90, you know, with an overdrive. Like, maybe, but there's just so many status effects from this gym. Between, like, the Magna Zones and... Um, the Hound Hour, like Fire Deck, Steel Decks, like there's some status effect. And it's just going to be way too tough. I don't think it's worth it. I think there's other Fire Types that can do just as much damage. I mean, yeah, you can go for the Banish mechanic, but... I mean, ho, oh, he's going to be able to bring Pokemon back anyway if you are running a Fire Deck. So uh, you're going to be able to clear out the PC. You're going to be able to get your Banish Pokemon back if it gets knocked out. So Cyclone Kick may be a nice thing for ho -Oh to prevent them from cycling. But this thing could be a monster with the Houndoom as well. And it can burn if it gets knocked out on one of its attacks. Uh, Chandelure, you're going to be able to have some mobility with it. It's going to have a base 130. If you have a chain level 10, it's going to be a 140 with Houndoom. That thing could be a monster as well. Plus, you have the utility uh, in, of, the, of the mechanic with the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The uh, Branded. So... Heat, heat Train, we talked about, it's going to get a double buff, 3 MP, protect the entry points, burn Pokemon, it's going to have a decent attack, maybe with the Hound Hour, uh, Charizard, I don't want to skip over, because Charmeleon is totally viable, even in League, but it's going to have a plus 20 in the gym, Charcoal Plate, If you, you don't even need the Charcoal, but if you have some Houndoom, you get the Charizard, then if you're running the Mega Charizard Y, which I like more than X, this thing's going to have a base 90 wheel, I believe. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, yeah. And then you're getting the additional damage buff for being a fire and flying. You can soar. You can capture Pokemon in your PC like the Mighty Sphere with the fighting types with Mega Charizard Y. So you can soar over, catch people slipping, and then uh, capture their Pokemon, put them in your PC. I, I like Mega Charizard Y. I, like it. I think it could be really fun to use. Now, Heat Rotom. It's kind of like, in a way, it's like bittersweet because you don't have enough room for him if you really want to run an overpowered fire deck. But to be able to get that minus 30 from other fire types, it could be the edge you need against mirror matches and other fire types. And then you could run the Rotom with the microwave oven. So even if they're not running a fire deck, you can still turn everything into a fire type for those nine turns. And then you're going to be able to get that minus 30 and try to steamroll. Uh, Oracorio Ballet Style. <laughs> he is going to give you a plus one. 
for every fire type on the field, and he's going to have a base 80 attack. He has some survivability. Um, you know, again, like a lot of these Pokemon struggle against Arcanine. Arcanine's ability is just so good. So, I mean, that's something you need to think about, but if you don't have Houndoom, the Oracorio could be nice. Uh, you know, I don't want to just skip over and make a Charizard X. I mean, that Backdraft. Backdraft is pretty amazing. It's going to send the uh, battle opponent and all adjacent um, enemy opponents to the PC. Bright Flame. You know, you can exclude Pokemon temporarily. Uh, it doesn't have Swords. The only reason I don't like it as much is Charizard Y, but... Infernape. With the Drive Kick, it's going to be pretty nice. Having that plus 20 is not bad. Again, pretty much any fire type is viable now if you have a couple of Houndoom. Um, but I like the Excadrill a little bit better. The Drill Run is the same exact attack as the uh, Drive Kick. But you can also jump off the bench if your entry points are capped. And it's going to be a 3 MP, and it's going to have that dig. You can get some cheese wins. Uh, Heat more, not the best Pokemon, but it has that melt and eat. So if they are a uh, steel type, it's not going to take any damage. And if people are running Durant, you're going to be able to exclude them. Now, Ferramosa, outside of the uh, you know typing advantage, you're going to want to run that with the Celestial. Definitely. Kiram, I think, is going to want to be ran with Empoleon, if you're going to be running Empoleon. Um, you know, again, the freeze is not going to work if they're running flame sphere and their fire types but uh you know it could be a good deck to run shaman land form you could run it with the cobalion it's a 3 mp can protect shaman from gold and then you can potentially have an uh, unlimited mega pokemon like mega lucario mega agron zorark it's gonna be nice a lot of pokemon hitting for over 110 but it gets wrecked by arcanine when it's burned or has a status effect shiny rayquaza to protect against the celestia there's going to be a lot of Celestial, I believe, at least in the beginning. Uh, Tapu Fini, try to Pony Wish the ho on a fire deck. ho is really key to cycling and keeping that fire deck alive. So uh, not a bad Pokemon to run. Primarina, you can uh, make all fire types spin and gain weight. Also, uh, with the Sparkling Aria, and it's going to heal all Pokemon that are burnt. So I, I don't think it's the best Pokemon, but if you're lacking things, like it's a pretty good counter, and you can get a weight win. Coco is just going to be good to run with the Magnezone, really, because, again, they're Steel types, so Magnezone is going to be a 2 MP. When you evolve it, it gets a plus 1, so it'll be a 3 MP. You're going to be able to use Electro Energy, though you got to watch out for Zerkatry, and I think Zerkatry could be good on the deck as well. So Electrosphere, if Pokemon have weight, you're going to be able to move through them with your Electric types. You know, Triple Magnezone evolved with Coco, with the Zerkatry, also with Ampharos because of its ability, Mega Ampharos to maybe bring him back. You get double damage with the uh, Cable Lash. Zap Cannon can uh, paralyze everything in a straight line. It can clutch you the match too if like your goal gets surrounded. So I think it's a pretty good choice. Sceptile is something that I wanted to talk about. I think this may be one of the best Pokemon to go up against Arcanine if it has a status effect. Level up the Leaf Blade at level 5. There's no miss. You know, Arcanine shifts it into a stealth hit. You know, maybe you can stealth hit over, go for something else outside of Arcanine. And then maybe you can get lucky and hit the quick attack, shift into the Leaf Blade, hit a double Leaf Blade and knock that Arcanine out. Garchomp, you're going to be able to uh, jump over with that double flight. And if they have a status effect, uh, you're going to be able to knock them out and then you can attack again. It's not a great Pokemon. But again, it's, it works pretty good in a status effect deck. Matang, uh, for a steel type, it's going to be a 3 MP. So if you have multiple steel types, maybe Lucario because it's a fighting type. Use that tractor beam with the Mighty Sphere. Rico was making that happen. Pretty nice. And then evolve into the Metagross. Metagross is going to be a base 2 MP. I, uh, I definitely rate the Matang. It has some gold on there. It's, it's a pretty good Pokemon. Poliwrath. It's not great. But that Hypnotic Stare is so good. So a lot of Pokemon are really hindered by Confusion. So it's not a bad choice. Vibrava to slow down the Rush if you don't have like Agron or a lot, multiple 3MP Pokemon. Uh, Mega Sableye is something to think about as well. Because it's going to be able to use that Gnawing Plate to get rid of like the Flame Sphere. Uh, so not a bad choice there. Is there anything else that we missed? Uh, Suicune. Suicune's definitely something you want to think about to heal your team. 
with scoop ups, but I think, I think we pretty much covered all of the Pokemon. Now guys, let me know in the comments if I missed anything, any strategies, any synergies, let me know. There's so many Pokemon now. So these deck prep videos are harder to do now than they've ever been. So let's go ahead. We're going to take a look at some of my decks. Now I have three Arcanine. Is it a little bit of an overkill? I think so. But having two Houndour that evolve in the Houndoom, ho ho for the cycle. Three Arcanine, so burn everything. It's like the one two punch, you know? With the uh, Houndour burn, then the Arcanine. We got a Max Revive, we got a Long Throw. And then we have the Flame Sphere, Scoop Up, couple of Double Chance. I dropped the Flame Energy, but you could try to get a Weight Win. This is the League deck, guys. No clickbait. This is the best deck in Pokemon Duel right now, in my opinion. There's just more counters. It's it's completely unstoppable. I've seen so many featured duels where even players that just didn't even play the deck properly were still able to win. It, it's just it's so good to use. Uh, but this is another deck idea. I like this with the Cobalion kind of uh, set the Magnezone and the Cobalion up on your goal. Uh, you have the Ampharosity able to bring Pokemon back in. Everybody that gets paralyzed, you're gonna get a plus ten. Now it does not stack unfortunately um and i heard people ask like well why you know why are houndoom so popular now when ampharos wasn't well the the plus 10 does not stack but you get a plus 30 from your coco i think this deck could do really well but again arcanine kind of wrecks it with uh status effects double celestial with a double Pheromosa. we have lucario i have the mega set but I got rid of the plate. I don't think we need it, but they're both fighting types. Lucario, Pheromosa. So with the Mighty Sphere, you're going to be able to uh, capture Pokemon. Potentially, they're ho -Oh, Because that's the only problem with the Celestial at Rendezvous. If they have a ho -Oh and they're a fire deck, they can just bring them back. And we don't have a Mega Ampharos to bring anything back. Because there really wasn't room. And I wanted to have two runners out the gate. With the Matang and the Lucario with the Gym Buff. So I do like this deck. I do want to test it out. Maybe there could be some tweaks made, but I do like it. Now this is a, a, a different variance of the Magnazone deck. We drop Cobalion for the um, Zerkatry. Every time something becomes paralyzed, they're going to get weight. Then with the Electrosphere, we're going to be able to move through them. And the evolution should be pretty easy with an XP double chance with the Coco. We're already getting a plus 20 buff on our Magneton. So it's a plus 50 off the gate. And as soon as we get more evolutions, could be really good. Now, I think this is going to be the one deck that I run. And yes, guys, I crafted Agron. I decided I didn't think I needed three Houndoom. I had the Mega that we pulled. And this is the perfect chance to show off Mega Agron. So we have kind of the Mega Aggron Rush, like Blaziken from the Fire Gym. You know, you go Blaziken first turn, then go Mega Blaze, and you rush, you burn him, you take the entry. Mega Aggron's the same way. He can move through Pokemon. So the only way that it, that's going to stop is if they have an Aggron or if they have a uh, Vibrava. But, you know, you can put the pressure on with Aggron, then come out with your Hounds, burn everything, then come out with the Arcanine, knock him out. You know, if you do get knocked out, cycle, whatever, we have the Houndoom evolutions as well for the Hound Hours. So these are my decks, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any changes you would make, uh, if there's any ideas that I missed. I love talking about building decks, especially for Jim. Jim is my favorite event in the game without a doubt. I love how it's just an instant new meta. Everybody's scrambling to try to figure out what the best deck is, trying to go for the 11 win streak, trying to get an EX out of the win streak boosters. It's, just, it's fun. You know, uh, trying to get into the top 300, get more trophies, to unlock more masks. But these are my decks. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if this video helped you out and you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. And follow me on Twitter, guys, kdub175. I post bonus content there. We can discuss anything about Pokemon Duel. But until the next one, later, guys.